Hi there guys. How is everybody doing? Uh, today I'm going to be playing some Duck Season a VR game. I've already played it a bit, a uh, decent amount, but I want to kind of, it's got a lot of endings in it. I'm going to hunt out the rest of the endings. Um, this is a little different because I haven't, I did a VR test for Beat Saber the other day, but I literally was just like throwing stuff up to see if it would even appear. Now that I know it does, I can do something. Um, so I'm going to try with the camera here so you can, so you kind of see what the heck I'm doing up in the corner here while the VR view is on the main screen. Um, hopefully it works fine with other VR games like it did for Beat Saber. There's only one way to really find out, and that's to try it out. So, I'm going to make sure the volume's turned down on you. Okay. Not getting any weird feedback in my head from my VR headset. All right. Let me go into the game and see if this stirred up from the uh, Steam VR client. See if that works and it shows up, or if I have to hunt it out. <sighs> Basically, I'm not sure if Exploits Game Detect will pick it up because I'm already in Steam VR and it's not showing that. But we'll see. Just uh, where are you? My bad. That's supposed to be coming out of my headset. There we go. Alright. And... It's not... Okay, the game's loaded up. Alright, I'm gonna have to not use auto detect and source and game and duck season there we go identify games duck season okay sorry takes a second to figure out how this works and where's the layout There we go. Get my cursor off screen. All right, actually that duck season actually looks pretty decent just watching it in mirrored mode, so I figure this will be fine. Um, for comments, I don't know. Let me see if I can... S well, I can see Steam comments. I probably won't be able to read comments and reply to them, you know, as they're happening, but um, I'll be taking the headset off to check things quite a bit, so I'll work from there. YouTube chat in the top, Twitch chat in the bottom, so you can see each other just like usual. All right, let's do this. So I've gotten three endings in this game so far. I'm not. I've gotten three endings in this game. I've gotten um, the one for getting to the end and completely failing. <laughs> gotten the one for finding the golden bullet. And what was the other one? The one for calling the police. And there's seven of them, and I think there's some secret stuff that goes beyond the endings, too. And I'll try to find that as well. So I guess the first thing we'll go through is try to get the normal ending where we win. That'll be my first try. I'll play it on easy mode because it's reloading is kind of a pain. It doesn't feel very good for some reason. This is going to be a little bit different remembering to be conversational and stuff as I'm in like a VR environment. It's a little bit different than playing in front of a screen where I can see my broadcaster in front of me. But we'll give it a shot. We will give it a shot. And so yeah, obviously I'm in New Game Plus. So one thing that's really fun is the way my room is set up, where the couch is in game, is the, exactly where my couch is so I can sit down fine. But I don't think that's on camera, is it? No, that's not really on camera. I don't really want to play it sitting down in the first place, but I am going to be getting up and down a lot, so obviously that corner cam can only do so much. Hold on. I didn't change the, uh, 
I didn't change the audio settings till after the game started, so it didn't do them. over here, my thing over here, my uh, base stations. This game has a very cool presentation. I guess I'll, since I didn't actually record me playing the first time through or anything like that, I'll introduce some stuff as it's coming along, just so you guys get an idea. But yeah, let's set the options, right-handed, just keep it on, no, just keep it on easy. There's less rounds, so I'm, I'm going for multiple endings. Um, so I really don't want to, to eat up a whole shit ton of time doing it. But yeah, I love how this game opens up. Mom? Help me carry in these groceries! Oh, you got duck season! One day rental, so make the most of it. Oh, I will! I guess basically I'm gonna do a playthrough. The first ending I'm trying to get is the normal one, so. Honestly, this is might as well be the first video. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get it. I really want to get through all this today. I've been putting it off. Like I'm really itching to see what the other stuff looks like. And if I happen to run into another ending or something like that, I might. But we'll see. We'll see how time's doing. I might kill him. the other ending you have, that you wouldn't see. That I've already got. All right. Duck season instructional VHF tape one. Hey hunters, it's duck season, so that means we got a lot of first time hunters out there. I'm gonna teach you how to use your shotgun today. All our shotguns come preloaded, so to start shooting, all you gotta do is aim it <laughs> and pull the trigger. Now to keep shooting, all you gotta do is place your hand on the pump of the shotgun and rack that baby. Now you got another round in the chamber and you're ready to shoot. <laughs> Just like that. Now, Reloading your shotgun is easy. All you gotta do is put your hand up, summon a shell from your box, and put that baby into the chamber underneath the shotgun. Pump it one more time, and you're ready to go again. <laughs> now, professional hunters, they like to keep their shotgun topped off. So each time you fire off a round and you have a second, you know, put a baby in there. Keep yourself prepared for the amount of ducks that'll be flying at you. They'll be coming from everywhere, from the left, to the right, they're everywhere, man. So I hope you guys learned something. And remember, the first rule of gun safety is have fun. Because remember, it's duck season. <laughs> Um, got a lot of magazines. The thing I like about this game, it's kind of 
There's a bit of a mystery element to it because there's all kinds of secret stuff you can find. Also, real magazine physics. Physics. The deadly combination of magazines. Uh, over here you can see. Oh, where do I can view these? to do figuring out right now. I'll turn my mic up just a bit, just in case. Excuse me. There. Since I am standing away from it, I might have to talk a little bit louder. <clears throat> All right. So... Why is there a fucking pair of them over here? Uh... Excuse my cold. Alright, so the main game here is to play through our rented duck season. Every time we play, an hour advances in the game. Real world. Real world, you know what I mean. But it's not as simple as just playing a light game, of course. Because you really get in there. There's our dog. This is a break. I think we can actually install something where we. Might get a little fucky because I'm going past my sensor. No, I thought you could do something there. I thought I saw something when I was looking for a path for the endings. So yeah, not exactly normal shit going on. There's our cat clock. Shells. There's a duck. So they want, oh, they want me to align the controllers. That's the name of the game. Oh, that's what it is. Rabbit season. Oh, okay. Do this. Also, 
was round. Now every time the game loads, our advances, the ring changes a bit, some aspect ha changes. So, your mom's like the editor of this magazine, the lying mom. Where is your husband? Men you wish they didn't men. You wish they didn't lie? They scrapped up the One's a badass. One's the beauty. And together, they're sweetest treasure of their sisters. Cool. So treasure hunting tonight. Treasure hunting. Treasure hunting. Treasure hunting. Yeah, for treasure hunting. Treasure hunting. Treasure hunting. Treasure hunting. Yeah, for treasure hunting. Treasure hunting tonight. And these two babes are going down to the Bermuda Triangle to hunt for some treasure. We're gonna have to jump in this volcano. And these shoes. Yeah. Next time, I'm flying the helicopter. Yep. Uh, oh, is that my favorite game over there? Sinatra. This game's awesome.
crows. I'm Ted. What do you expect? Yeah, so we're just going for the end right now. So we just basically just play it straight. Regular ending. Just play through and let the story progress as it happens. Final Fiesta 2.
almost like an endless runner style, I think. Okay. Kazoo Kid!
three o'clock. There's a new hero in town, and to stop the evil Lord Duminox from taking over the world, you need a soldier with the right tools for the job. Blasting the action with the new Shadow Cruiser. When Duminox attacks, Lone Wolf strikes back. Party's over, Duminox. He's bigger, tougher, and more determined than ever. Sold separately. Locks not included. I like that weird little stuff in there. I'm on computer doing computer shit. But yeah, as the game goes, things get a little creepier. seen a knife. What great words. What great fucking thing to hear at this point in the game, right? Especially when we have this now. Thank you. 
Howdy, folks. song a long time ago, but uh, I guess I just realized what it's all about. Engaged, huh? Yep. To the son of the richest guy ever. What happened to that girl that used to do all those things we used to do? She grew up. <laughs> remember the night we danced in the moonlight? You remember the way that it was so cold and it was so funny? I remember everything. Two, three, four. There's no eye in Akawa.
Tonight on News Channel 6 at 6 o'clock, police now asking for the public's help in solving the mystery behind the disappearance of several families from the Tri-County area. If you know anything, please pick up your phone and dial 911 immediately. Plus a look at your five-day weather forecast and sports. All that and more on News Channel 6 at 6. <laughs> by calling the police a couple times throughout the night. <laughs>
Pretty bad. Pretty quick. situation we're stuck in right now.
Slugger. Fucking asleep. Alright, I lost this last time. Let's see if I can do it.
quick. I don't know how, what to do after this point because I didn't beat him last time. I know what you need to do, I just don't know where that is, and I don't want to play through all the way again and get to that point, just to, you know, so give me a second. I need to look up where the thing I want is. I know exactly what I what the game wants me to do, I just don't know where it is. <sighs> Okay, well, I thought you were supposed to, like, in my head, the idea was, oh, I need to take the bat and don't go after the dog, bust up the game cartridge. I guess that's not it. You literally just, yeah, you just gotta wait longer. But, uh, it was getting creepy. I didn't want to lose just because I didn't know what to do. You can either zap the dog or hit with the bat. I'm gonna hit with the fucking bat. Hopefully it continues in the actual room and not make me do the boss fight again. That'd be cool. Let's. Whoops, what did I just fucking do? Put on the wrong hands. How is everybody doing? Thoroughly creeped out? Because I am. But I'm doing this now while it's daylight. Getting the, getting the uh, these kind of enemies done. Ooh. Okay. Whoops. I didn't I forgot there's buttons right here. Okay. Alright, I just gotta resist the urge to freak out and hit this thing and clonk this motherfucker on the head or something. I fucking hand up. Put the slider up. Took it too far. Oh shit, did I actually fuck? There it goes. Do 
music gets to me a bit. I'm very susceptible to music, like mood music. I pretty much fall right where they want me to every time. See where this puts me. Alright, come at me, motherfucker.
to start over all the way. Well, okay. I'm gonna take. A sh I'm gonna go get some water. I wanna go get some water. That was a pretty nasty. I think so. It says you can use the gun too. Guess I'll just do that. All right. My hair's all fucked up. I will be back in just a second. Let me check some things. It's still working. <laughs> it wasn't there. I'm sure. Back in the sick. The funny thing is, Okay, yeah. You just, if you shoot him six times with the gun, that'll work too. You don't have to use the bat. Uh, you have to wait. You have to like sit there and wait for him to get actually close. You can't come towards him with the bat, apparently. Because then you get a... In the fucking head. Okay, makes sense. And this will go much quicker now, because I'm not going to do all the little side things. I'm just going to run through the game really quick now. And just so you guys know, you have to have shot the dog at least once to get on... The main three endings, the win, the lose in the game, and the lose in real life ending. You have to actually have shot the dog and pissed him off at some point during while you're playing Duck Hunt or Duck Season. Cables. Pit tangled. There's another ending for not shooting him. We'll do that one after this. The long ones. And then there's just one more after that, and then the secret stuff. Relatively untangled. See how fast I can do this now. 
kind of gets my arms a little sore playing the duck hunt. Or the ducks. You know me. But. And my head's up being weird. my fucking core all jacked up right now. What's going on here? Okay. Okay. Oh, this is so annoying. Why is my headset doing this now? Why is my core so jacked the fuck up? Just sees an instructional VH. Oh Oh. <laughs> 
Oh my god, this is about, I'm barely just stopping, just fix this. So my cord is just progressively getting more tangled and worse. It changes the experience with your bad cord constantly fucking. Ah! Uh. 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 Ah!
tonight on News Channel 6 at 6 o'clock. Police now asking for the public's help in solving the mystery behind the disappearance of several families from the Tri-County area. If you know anything, please pick up your phone and dial 911 immediately. Plus, a look at your five-day weather forecast and sports. All that and more on News Channel 6 at 6. <laughs>
Doesn't usually do this, does it? I was gonna say. Just gotta shoot him six, to get a flashlight, shoot him six times.
dead digital ectoplasm bullshit. Apparently, so he comes from where you're not looking. Feels like the morning she gave me a kiss. Who would have thought that it ended up like this? Hello? Just like it's my, it's my mom. Hi. Hello, are you there? Hello. No more, sp we shouldn't have much spooky stuff in this next one, because we're not antagonizing the duck hunt dog by shooting it like everybody ever fucking did. Alright, um. Duck's easing. Oh, there you are. Uh. Hey, Seth. I can't see the, you know, chat while I'm got it in, but I try to take it out every once in a while. Um. <laughs> uh, I did I did some cool tricks during near the end of this playthrough. I don't know when you jumped on here. <laughs> I did uh, the behind the back shot to take him out. <laughs> uh, okay, so now I'm gonna try to get the friendly ending, um, which looks like it might have something you get to do in the ending from what it looked like in the achievements. Um, but yeah, you can run through this really quick on easy mode if you're just shooting shit up. So, I'm gonna go get a drink real quick, then I'll do that. I can't tell how it looks, like, on my actual camera, me playing, because I can't, I don't know, I have no awareness of my position. I think I'll link this to Ryan when I'm done so he can see pretty much everything he's missed. Okay, you did. So, But you didn't see me get stabbed in the fucking brains when I tried to use the bat to take the dog out because I didn't wait for him to get close enough. <laughs> Alright. Well, am I not? My hair's all fucked up. I blame y'all messing with my strap. The cord is doing this thing where it's warping up like this, and it's the most uncomfortable fucking feeling in the world. I'm trying to make it stop, but it won't. We need the wireless shit now. Uh, 
Yeah, you might actually just pull up a YouTube video and pull up like a uh, broken cartridge ending is what it's called. Because it's got a, it's, what happens is okay, but what happens after the scene ends is actually really cool looking. Okay. Alrighty then. Oh no, where's my hands? Oh, battery. We'll make it through. We'll make it through. We only got two endings and then we can dig into the really esoteric shit, which I've did a little studying on because it's not stuff you'll find in Supernatural. Well, honestly, I kind of I kind of figured it out. It's just that we didn't have the endings to go exploring it. Not what it is, but how to get to it. Okay. Just sees an instructional. Fuck off. So don't, we gotta not, don't, I can't, I gotta not shoot the dog. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna shoot the dog to <laughs> start this. <laughs> to the left! <laughs> I'll leave you alone too, because I, I like you. Time isn't consistent how it jumps, so it goes. That's one hour advance right there. That's one hour advance right there. I don't know about this. Duck season. I don't know about this. Oh, that's the thing I wanted to ask. Um, how is my how is my volume, speaking volume, compared to when the game's music's actually playing? Because I have no context with the VR headset headphones, how loud that is. <clears throat> I turn the gain on my mic up just in case, but I, I really had no idea how loud I, my speaking was. Okay. Okay. Don't shoot the dog. Don't shoot that dog!
That's an hour. Shut up, Mom. What's that pink thing? Flower? Damn! 
How the hell did I throw that so far? Before I could barely throw. This song a long time ago, but uh, I guess I just realized what it's all about. Engaged, huh? Yep, to the son of the richest guy ever. What happened to that girl that used to do all those things we used to do? Oh! She grew up. Remember the night we danced in the moonlight? You remember the way that it was so cold and it was so funny? I remember everything. Okay. Two, three, four. Ah. Uh -huh. 
combo. <laughs> That's some, that's, that goes away if you miss one, if you fire a shot that misses. Six o'clock. Tonight on News Channel 6 at 6 o'clock. Police now asking for the public's help in solving the mystery behind the disappearance of several families from the Tri-County area. If you know anything, please pick up your phone and dial 911 immediately. Plus, a look at your five-day weather forecast. It's not actually that. You sports. literally um, All you pick up the phone and put up here until they say keep six. doing what you're doing at six o'clock, and then you do it again at eight o'clock, and that's how you get that in there. I don't know what that record was actually used for. It's probably used for something in the, the deep well shit. Or nothing at all. It could just be a gimmick like the, the banana or the juice. <laughs> Mom, this is like... I haven't shot a dog once. I never shot a dog, Mom. So don't get fucking killed. Don't do that fucking luck. <laughs> Changes up here. It's got, to, it's got to change at some point because otherwise the creepy stuff's really weird if you don't have an ending where you're confronting this thing, right? No, he's still there. Let's get rid of that. Well, this is going to be a strange situation if he stabs my mom in the next minute after, the next couple minutes after I, uh, don't do anything to antagonize him. It's gonna be a little strange. Unless I accidentally shot him, but I don't think I did. Yeah, maybe he's just... He, maybe he... Maybe it's my dad in a costume from Chuck E. Cheese's. Came back from the baseball game and his second job at Chuck E. Cheese's and he wanted to surprise me. That must be what it is. Shit. Three rounds from the last time. But he doesn't pop if the if the round counter doesn't go higher, that's what I probably expect. And then he doesn't show up behind me.
I'm the fucking Terminator. Bedtime, turn it off. Okay. We can rent it another day since you liked it so much. But you know, I would have shot that annoying dog. <laughs> oh well. Good night, dear. Any place? Hey, boy. Play it in the credits, please. I would kill to play this in the credits. Well, I would not kill that dog to play this in the credits. Yes! Yes! I get it. It's got a haraka. We're gonna play Final Fiesta first, because I know what that's about. Get strategy guys. Oh fuck, this is gonna be okay. Okay, I need Oh come on. Okay. This is exactly what Ryan wanted to play. <laughs> Poncho, there's the city. Hard to believe that's where the great fiesta is held every year, every 1,000 years. Think the party is still going on? Still going to happen? Probably. They shouldn't be anything to halt it. The king and his sorcerer, sorcerer? have been locked away? True. The threat of losing this super pinata to magic. Enough of that. We better get going. One poncho and sombrero. I don't want to be late either. Oh, it's the intro to Final Fantasy VI! Ah! Oh, 
Kong come out in a fucking sombrero and a mustache, I will fucking die. Okay, there's one more. Let me go see. Hold on a second. <laughs> oh shit. Where is my water? Okay, we got one more ending and then we got um secret stuff. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. And this is gonna be the quickest ending to get because you only need the only requirement is to have all the others and then it's available immediately, I'm pretty sure. Wait. No, that's right. I'll have to grab it. The game got confused. Um, why is it doing this? I don't want to like clear data. Duck season instructional VHS. Hey hunters, it's duck season, so that means we got a lot of first time hunters out there. I'm gonna teach you how to use your shotgun today. All our shotguns come preloaded, so to start shooting, all you gotta do is aim it and pull the trigger. Now to keep shooting, all you gotta do is place your hand on the pump of the shotgun and rack that baby. Now you got another round in the chamber and you're ready to shoot. Just like that. 
Now, reloading your shotgun is easy. All you gotta do is put your hand up, summon a shell from your box, and put that baby into the chamber underneath the shotgun. Pump it one more time, and you're ready to go again. Now, professional hunters, they like to keep their shotgun topped off. So each time you fire off a round and you have a second, you know, put a baby in there. Keep yourself prepared for the oh, amount of ducks okay. that will be flying at so you. So we also from have to... From the left to the right. Yeah. To the... They're everywhere, man. So I hope you guys learned. I was mistaken. This is, you have to also do. So there's two no-shoot dog things. And that videotapes the other one. So I'm going to have to do this again. Unfortunately. Ah. I will now be time to go get a snack. Because ah. it's just gonna be dunks for a half hour. can't get it just from not shooting the doll, you have to have all the other ends. I guess they counted me getting there as achieving the ending, but I wouldn't have seen it if I didn't have an OPS. This is the one you're supposed to see last, basically. Except for the super hit stuff that requires having all the endings. Which apparently is super, super cool looking. Like, oh man, this is a whole other game kind of stuff. I mean, you saw a little bit of that in the Kid Wizard book. Which I, for those who haven't seen Gold Pin, I think that's a lot closer. I'm gonna feel bad when I actually see a real duck doing this. Just my muscle memory. That was a, that was a robin. Flies. You have to wait for this to do it every time. How do you say banana pervert in Spanish? Platino? I don't know the word for pervert. I beat Mega Man 1 and 2 yesterday, and they each have their own part. Uh, Mega Man 1, I whine a lot. Because <laughs> that game sucks compared to at least, at least compared to, you can play Powered Up, Powered Up, like PSP Remake. It's just so jank. But, um, Mega Man 2 is really fun, except for the one bad boss. <laughs> the wall boss, where you have to 
strategically use crash bombs. This is assuming you did, had full energy on your items and your crash bombs that doesn't recharge as you play through the stages or die. Yeah, it's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Mega Man 3, I played a lot more than the Mega Man 1, 2. I played Mega Man 2 some, but I played a lot of Mega Man 3. And I was I'm thinking. Clearly, just me shooting fucking ducks. So, I was thinking of doing the Legacy Collection one, and then also before we go to the Legacy Collection two, play um the Game Boy Mega Man Five, the one that's like and all new stuff. So I think that might be a fun thing. Since I'm going to play Mega Man Base, since it's not for some fucking fun. Uh, Legacy Collection 2, might as well add something to the first one, too. I can't believe they don't have Mega Man and Base on that. That game was literally Mega Man 9 up until they released Mega Man 9. It's no ads. It's canon. It's in Mega Man 9 in the ending. You, like, they show Mega Man fighting wild every time at the end. And Mega Man and Base is shown. Like, if there's any game to... But they only had four fucking games on the second one. Versus six. How hard of a decision could that have been? No, we can't have nice looking Mega Man classic games. We have to play only 8 bit ones. Fuck it, Jack. Hey, Dad! There's a new hero in town, and to stop the evil Lord Duminox from taking over the world, you need a soldier with the right. Dude, I did not know this was possible. 
position that I knocked it. Okay, that's something. That is something, definitely. I don't know about the symbol yet. I'm sure we'll see it once we get the endings. We'll figure out what's going on there. Right now, it's like everything that's super cool is locked behind getting the endings, it seems like. Or associated with having all the endings. What the fuck was that? Ah. What could I do with the times? Are you changing my position? That's what I don't understand. I don't think things are flavors. It's just the the just the 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 get in my fucking head with conspiracy shit I love. Especially when your instincts end up doing shit so much in this game, like they know exactly how to temper.
couldn't decide if he was shot or not either. Loading screen disappears wherever you're looking. But it loads at the same thing, same. Tonight on News Channel 6 at 6 o'clock, police now asking for the public's help in solving the mystery behind the disappearance of several families from the Tri-County area. If you know anything, please pick up your phone and dial 911 immediately. Plus a look at your five-day weather forecast and sports. All that and more on News Channel 6 at 6.
pile of duck. It's bedtime. Turn it off. Okay. We can rent it another day since you liked it so much. But you know, I would have shot that annoying dog. <laughs> oh well. Good night, dear. Final Fiesta. What's this? Huh? Huh? <laughs> hey. Same time? Huh? Oh! Oh, uh, oh. Interesting. Um.
Okay, now we're ready to do the secret shit. Give me a second. Fuck. Oh, why didn't you say something? I'm sure you did, but I didn't see it. I don't know why the mouse cursor appears at all. Cursor appears at all. I'm gonna, we're gonna do some secret stuff in just a sec. I almost forgot the volume. Mom? Help me carry in these groceries. <gasps> almost <gasps> forgot the volume. Okay, so we're gonna do some oh, stuff. Oh, you got duck wizard. season! Figure out what that is. I've heard the last one you really want to mess with is the cat clock cat clock one because that one's really involved.
Kid Wizard. Oh yeah. Also, we can do this from the beginning of the game. Just sure. season instructional okay. VH. So, no, shut up. After you beat the game once, uh, well, I think maybe you can even do it at the very beginning. You just, I don't remember. But there's this Kid Wizard book, and it's got all the stuff on it. But you'll notice, a bunch of them have, uh, a bunch of them have seven next to it, which means the seven endings. Um, so the basic one, might as well show up all this. And I'm pretty sure you can, it's easier to get the other stuff in the Kid Wizard book. So, Kid Wizard plus, uh, the doll. The doll is the one. Kid Wizard. This will take us into a dollhouse version of the world, which has all kinds of secret shit going on that I don't completely understand. But we'll try to figure it out. And I'll take any hits that someone thinks they came across. Alright. Hey! Oh! It's duck season, so that means we got a lot of first-time hunters out there. I'm gonna teach you how to use your shotgun you today. That. That's the first time I was calling. Reloaded, so to uh, shooting. The All you gotta do is aim it. Also, you know what? <laughs> and we are way, you know, way, shoot. way bigger than we used to be. Your hand way bigger. Up the shotgun and rack that we baby. can go into the backyard now. You now. The round in the chamber, and you're ready to shoot. <laughs> uh, just like that. Now, reloading your shotgun is easy. All you gotta do is put your hand up. Still on the very edge of where I can go, but going through stuff is very disorienting. Maybe it's in a different area. 
computer. Computer was on one of Okay, what happens? Duck season instructional VHF tape one. Hey hunters, it's oh, duck it's season, so that means we got a lot of first time hunters out there. I'm gonna teach you how to use your shotgun today. All our shotguns come preloaded, so to start shooting, all you gotta do is aim it and pull the trigger. Now to keep shooting, all you gotta do is place your hand on the pump of the shotgun and rack that baby. Now you got another round in the chamber and you're ready to shoot. <laughs> Just like that. Now. Reloading your shotgun is Ooh, easy. Are you? All you gotta do is put your hand up, summon a shell from your box, Fucking and put that baby into the chamber underneath the shotgun. Pump it one more time, and you're ready to go again. <laughs> now, professional hunters, they like to keep their shotgun topped off. So each time you fire off a round and you have a second, you know, put a baby in there. Keep yourself prepared for the oh, amount of ducks that will be flying at you. Oh. They'll be coming from everywhere, from the left, to the right, they're everywhere, man. So I hope you guys learned something. And remember, the first rule of gun safety is have fun. Because remember, it's duck season. Oh, they got the different versions of the dog. an instructional VHF tape one. Hey hunters, it's duck season, so that means we got a lot of first time hunters out there. I'm gonna teach you how to Excuse use your shotgun. Excuse me? All our shotguns come preloaded, so to start shooting, all you gotta do is aim it <laughs> and pull the trigger. Now to keep shooting, all you gotta do is place your hand on the pump of the shotgun. I don't have a, I don't have a cursor on the screen, now so you I don't got know another why it's round in the chamber, And you're ready to shoot. <laughs> uh, just like that. Now, reloading your shotgun easy. is easy. All you gotta do is put your hand up, summon a shell from your box, oh, there it is. and put that okay. baby into My the bad. chamber underneath the shotgun. Um, Pump it one more time. What the fuck? And you're ready to go again. <laughs> now,
Now, professional hunters, they like to keep their shotgun topped off. So each time you fly off a round and you have a second, you know, put a baby in there. Keep yourself prepared for the amount of ducks that'll be flying at you. They'll be coming from everywhere, from the left to the right. They're everywhere, man. So I hope you guys learned something. And remember, the first the rule of gun safety is have fun. Because remember, it's duck season. <laughs> Oh, the Necronomicon. But it's probably not this one. Fuck it, monkey. I don't get the light bulb. Well, if it's an item, it, it'll be in that room, right? Because I go back to the computer. Daddy. If I go to the computer, whatever items are possible should be there. It's really far out of the reach in the first round. Okay. Let's see if there's a light bulb. No, we'll back out. An instructional VHS tape hey hunters, it's duck season, so that it means we got a lot of first-time hunters out there. I'm gonna teach you how to use oh, your shotgun today. Really All our shotguns come preloaded, so to start shooting, my body is do everything. <laughs> and pull the trigger. Now to keep shooting, all you got. Duck season instructional VHS tape one. Hey hunters, it's duck season, so that means we got a lot of first time hunters out there. I'm gonna teach you how to use your shotgun today. All our oh, shotguns shit. come preloaded, so to start shooting, all you gotta do is aim it <laughs> and pull the trigger. Now to keep shooting, all you gotta do is place your hand on the pump of the shotgun and rack that baby. Now you got another round in the chamber and you're ready to shoot. <laughs> uh, just like that. Now, reloading your shotgun is easy. All you gotta do is put your hand up, summon a shell from your box, and put that baby into the chamber underneath the shotgun. Pump it one more time, and you're ready to go again. <laughs> now, professional hunters, they like to keep their shotgun topped off. So each time you fly off a round and you have a second, you know, put a baby in there. Keep yourself prepared for the amount of ducks that'll be flying at you. They'll be coming from everywhere, from the left, to the right, they're everywhere, man. So I hope you guys learned something. And remember, the first awesome. rule of gun safety is have fun. Because remember, it's duck season. Oh, I can get that one. Well, I knocked him away, actually. I knocked him clean the fuck back there, didn't I? Camera's the light bulb. Okay, that's what I thought. Because that was not anywhere else. Welcome to the Duck Season Virtual Showcase. Now that we have VR, it makes no sense to waste time and money constructing a physical convention booth, visible only to attendees, when we can instead make a oh, virtual shit. booth available to all from the comfort of your home. I'm Brandon Lodge. And I'm Alex Knoll. After releasing Hover Junkers with the launch of the Vive, we wanted to try something completely different that can only be achieved in VR. We conceived of Duck Season huh. to challenge ourselves conceptually, graphically, and narratively. 
It's June 20th, 1988, 12 p.m. You are a 10-year-old boy. When we started development, we described Duck Season as playing a Spielbergian movie from the 80s. Halfway through production, Stranger Things managed to come out on Netflix, so now it seems to be a more apt comparison for the vibe of the world. Interrupting the boredom of summer vacation, your mom has just surprised you by renting the hottest game of the summer, Duck Season, for a one-day rental. As I'm sure you can all relate to, this universally means that you have carte blanche to play this game all day to get your money's worth. Before we try the game out, let's take a minute to look around the living room. With Duck Season, we challenged ourselves to push the visual fidelity to the limits of what VR can be on today's hardware. We grew up in homes similar to this and wanted to capture the essence of being there since we know it's a place that many of us have great nostalgia for. As the day goes on, the scene around you evolves to present the story. Time passes, causing the lighting to evolve from day to night. If you look behind yourself, you can see your mom go about her day as you game. The content that plays on the TV changes as the hours pass, and the items around you change based on the time of day. We paid great attention to the detail to reward players for exploring the world around them as they seek to discover the secrets of the world. Each object around you has a rich, detailed textures with custom text rather than generic scribbles. Tapes play short video clips when inserted into the VCR, and other game cartridges activate minigames. Should I keep listening we to recorded these dudes dozens of the custom interaction spot. sounds with each do? object around you to enhance the immersive nature of the world. Rather than creating an 8-bit environment, the game world of Duck Season is hyper real. As a kid, you didn't think of games as 8-bits. It was simply the best graphics that you'd ever seen. So the world of Duck Season can reflect that. Looking around the in-game world, you'll see that it's inside of a tube TV. Across the lake extends to infinity, but as you look to the left or right, you can see the walls become matte paintings, and the bushes become cutouts, as if you're inside of an attraction meant to be viewed from the outside. If you look behind you, you can actually see through the glass of the TV and see yourself outside in the living room playing the game. Two-handed weapons in VR are tough, since your hands won't actually be attached together when in two-handed mode. What? For the shotgun, we developed a system that rewards the player what? for positional alignment as well as rotational alignment. Ideally, we want the player to pretend like they are holding a real shotgun, even though their hands will never really be attached together. It takes a few rounds to get used to, since it's a new mechanic in VR, but once it clicks, we think you'll dig it. The underlying theory is that if we encourage the players via mechanics to pretend that their controllers become a single shotgun, their subconscious should become more immersed as they get deeper into the game. The in-game gameplay of Duck Season should feel familiar to anyone who's grown up in the 80s. As you play the game, you... Crazy. This is one hell of a way to show off your game. Take a fucking lesson from these dudes. Oh, I see. Oh, there's only so many bullets in this world, they're gonna come flying to you.
Piggy wants you to take them all out. Two. Three. Four. Showroom, so they had a big play area. I bet. That was cool, though. Was there something else? I don't think there was. Okay. Let's move on to something else, though. He's an instructional VHS. Alright. I think it's time for Kitty Cat.
do something for me? I can't do this with me looking in at the same time. Uh, type these numbers in the chat after I tell them to you. Oh, so we know where the hour hand is, but the minute hand is on stuff too. So I'm gonna go through and say the number and then put them all down in one line of text chat after I set them all. So we'll start with uh, midnight. Two, one, four, 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 or one, four, two, one, four, eleven. into um can you turn those into letters for me so a b b a b b a d d it's probably a message of some sort clock said ABC is to one two three that's what it said in the middle of the clock when I looked at it I see the word bad and then what's the 11th letter of the alphabet a B C D E F G H I K Okay, so D or wait, did I light the way to eleven kid wizard? Wait a minute.
dad, bad kid. Oh, <laughs> that's creepy. Bad dad, bad kid. What's the fuck? Well, his dad's fucking absent. He's a baseball player. You got the bat in the game. That's something. What does that mean? What do I do with that information? Well, okay, so the lantern... We, the lantern is at the end of the game. But it could also be in the item world, so we might be able to do it that way. Yeah, that's what I said. Bad dad, bad kid. Which is, uh, huh. Makes me want to rethink some stuff here. Uh, okay, kid wizard. Where am I? Oh, man. Got a pen cap. And... Ah. Don't look at me like that. Jesus. Look how expectedly. Oh, the eyes follow you! I didn't notice! All oh, the eyes follow you! <laughs> Bad dad, bad kid. Bad dad, bad kid. I mean, it makes sense. That that meta narrative is going on in the story with all the photos and your mom working at Milan. Duck season instructional um, baseball, baseball bat, hey, get him slugger. Hey, hunters! It's duck season, so that means we. Got okay. whatever this is. Think of how many times we've transported in this process. Duck season instructional VHF tape one. Hey hunters, it's duck season, so that means we got a lot of first time hunters out there. I'm gonna teach you how to use your shotgun today. All our shotguns come preloaded, so to start shooting, all you gotta do is aim it <laughs> and pull the trigger. Now why is it there it goes? Bad dad, bad kid. Look at the feeling. But he's a trickster too. So what does that mean? Don't trust him. Duck season instructional VHF tape one. Hey hunters, it's duck season, so that means we got a lot of first time. Okay, now what? Now I have no fucking clue. Where the fuck could we possibly go at this point? Except, I don't know. I mean, everything's... Outside? Oh, oh we're, we're in the... Oh, shit, we're in the playhouse. And, uh, hey, look at that, a Ouija board.
The accursed cryptid has finally been dealt with. Fear it no longer. Congratulations, Kid Wizard. You are the chosen one. Go now and rest. You have made it to the very end of the game. Who wants me to go home? That's it? Oh, wait, it's the fucking monkey saying it, so there's. So it's a lie. way to announce you're making a new fucking game. There you go! That was pretty fucking cool! Yeah! Oh yeah, the game is definitely off because it's not on the screen on the broadcaster. Oh my gosh. Touch the monkey? Well, they keep telling you that the monkey stuffs uh, don't trust it, and the message is over the monkey. So I didn't think you would be. I mean, let me let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look. I'll look it up and see if that's something. That was crazy. Hall of the Machine King, right? Let's take a look. Let's, take a, let's see what we get. Hall of the Machine King, Rock, Paper, Shotgun, March 27, 2018. And it was at GDC. Take a look. Boneworks. Boneworks. Works. 
also from them. This was, it was a, so they had a thing called Boneworks that was a tech demo showing off features for upcoming shooter Hall of the Machine King. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Wow. That was really cool. That is, uh, huh. That is something. That was a cool way to end that little uh, thing. Man. <sighs> Shit. Well, I don't think there's any more fucking duck season after that. I think that's about as much as it gets. Let me check the achievements, see if there's anything. Like that. Um, let's see. TV, backpack, broken cartridge, Final Fiesta 2, 9-1-1, nuke the game, dog endings, got all those. What time is it? I'm not sure. Mom? There's something on Mom. You're a wizard. The magazine with GGG on the cover. Okay, let's find that. Let's find that. That's one more. That's one thing I did not see. Let's see what's in that. I'll, I'll boot the game back up. The magazine with G G G on the cover. Well, if we just go into the uh, the all items room. We'll find that real quick. It wasn't six six six. It was G G G. It's just hard to read, I guess. I mean, the Necronomicon was definitely a thing, but that was probably one of the mysteries besides the uh, Jack o' Lantern. this pop back up. How good is my broadcaster at this? Okay, yeah, I picked it back up. All right, all right. The magazine with GGG on it. I guess, that, 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 I guess you can call that an ending because it, it closes the goddamn game out. Like, where would it load you after that? You think, if there's no continue option, there is. But. Oh, the question is, where's it gonna fucking load me when I get continue? Probably back in the room. Season instructional VHF tape one. Hey hunters, it's duck season, so that means we got a lot of first-time hunters out there. Hmm. Duck season instructional VHF tape one. Hey hunters, it's duck season, so that means we got a lot of first time hunters out there. I'm gonna teach you how to use your shotgun today. All our oh, shotguns come preloaded, so to start shooting, all you gotta do Second is aim it <laughs> and pull the trigger. Now to keep shooting, all you gotta do is place your hand on the pump of the shotgun and rack that baby. Now you got another round of the chamber and you're ready to shoot. <laughs> we'll see, because it looks like the thing we already did with the Get him out, Welcome to the Duck Season Virtual Showcase. 
Now that we have VR, it makes no sense to waste time and money okay, constructing okay, the a same physical thing. convention booth, visible only to attendees, when we can instead make a virtual... Go home, gamer boy. Okay, I think that's enough of that for now. I need to take a break. Whew. Well, hope you like seeing all that. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool. 440. Oh, maybe I'll, I don't know. I haven't played Beat Saber yet today either. I haven't downloaded any new songs. I'm going to take a short break. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. I'm going to keep playing shit, but I don't know what. I'm taking a break for now. Or later, I don't know.